staring down the gun barrel here of the potential first ever championship win. Courtney back out. He's going to get out on this racetrack. The thing is a mess at the front. He's just got to be able to get around. And Adrian Burgess just said, be careful, James, be careful. I'll let you know where the leaders are. So this has got... It's got yeah, nothing to do. Well, well you guys smash the force and that's awesome stuff. And that's what he's saying. It's got nothing to do with winning the race, but they've Take won it, the most important Take race. The race to get Courtney back on the track. And Courtney's won that race against Winterbottom and Winker. I hasten to add. I hasten to add that Courtney's got to be super, super careful because he can end up back in the wall again with stone cold tyres and geometry all over the place. Well, he'll just be going trundling around. And Jonathan Webb, well, he's got a different scenario altogether. Remember, we go back to Sandown when Paul Dunbrell won his first race after 242 cracks at it. Well, Jonathan Webb is in just his 33rd main game race. And if he can hold it together and keep it straight, He's going to find himself on the race winner's list. Now, in James Courtney's uh, broken car case, if his lap time is more than twice the fastest lap of the winner's fastest lap time, then he's not classified. Did I say that right? We so if, if Courtney's time is twice, is more than twice as yep. slow, I should say, as this bloke's fastest lap, which will be based on his dry time, time yeah, then he's not classified. You'll have one more lap to go. Bottom line is, James just can't go out and trumble around at 4 k's an hour. He's got to push along. But let's focus on Jonathan Webb. So that means that James has got to do a three-minute lap. Look at the front of it. It's got negative camber on one side, positive on the other. It's covered in race tape. It's destroyed. Bright is coming. But will it be fast enough? Bright is closing now that he's got some temperature up. Webb started in 21st. Remember, this car is out of the Dick Johnson Racing Stable. Yeah, at the moment. So they've had it all thrown at them, DJR, this weekend. But Bright is certainly coming. Youth versus experience in the rain, on the streets, as a championship battle has unfolded around them in the most extraordinary fashion. Jonathan Webb has less than three kilometres now to deliver a race win. He's on. He'll take... Think of Jason Bright's has got some pace now that it's gripped up and he's on a big attack. There's three quarters of a lap remaining and I'll tell you what, he might get here. The last uh, three or four corners are going to be game on here. Meantime, at the other end of the racetrack, Courtney's trying to get a lap time out of that broken car in order to be classified and get a vital pile of points, which for 15 is 60 points. And there goes Winkup, just exiting the pit lane. No wheel alignment, wheel on, gone. Horrible. So they've just got him out there. So Courtney and Wincup have gone out there. And 16th, if Wincup is classified, is worth 57 points. Look at this. Look at Bright. He's coming at him. Jason Bright has won 15 races in his career. The last was four years ago. Jonathan Webb's career is really only just starting. He's never won a V8 supercar race. It's been a battle of attrition. They've had to fight off the rain. Webb's car was crunched in qualifying. And here he is, this 26-year-old with a cool head. The emotion will be bubbling over as he brings it around the final couple of turns. The rain is falling down at the Sydney Telstra 500 and that is a victory that's fallen from the heavens for Jonathan Webb. Fantastic job. Good on him. Good Great on him. drive. Good work, well boys. done. Not bad strategy there, Jeff. So you've been working on it. And that makes Webb the 60th driver to win a race in the history of Australian Touring Car Championship and V8 Supercar Racing. And now here's Courtney. He's done two thirds of this lap. To the second intermediate, he's recorded a 1 minute 28.3. It will be under three minutes. And look at this. Look who's there. His partner in crime. Well, working wounded. These two. That just wheel is on. almost off that car. They're just locked together, aren't they? He'll, he'll be lucky to complete this lap. Look at the front right wheel. It's barely holding on. Oh, this is just amazing. 
You're going to have to burn up the calculators to find out what's happening in the championship. But I'll tell you what's happening. It's going to Sunday. Courtney did it 2.03. But Wing Cup hasn't recorded a lap. I'm not sure that Wing Cup will get classified. We'll check that for you.